find an equation of the line passing through the points negative 1, negative 1, negative 6, and negative 3, 7, 7. So what is the goal here? Well, the goal is to find an equation of a line. So our vector-valued equation of the line is that vector-valued function r of t being equal to vector r naught plus the arbitrary parameter t times vector v. And now we want to keep in mind here that this is such that the position vector r naught is the position vector associated with the point that we select. So this is going to be the vector from the origin to that point p naught. And vector v is a vector parallel to the line. All right, so with this in mind, let's go ahead and find an equation of the line. So the first thing that we need to do, choose a point. And both work. Keep this in mind. So you want to choose a p naught. Now again, both of these points work, so I'm going to let p naught be the first point. Negative 1, negative 1, negative 6. So then the position vector, vector r naught, again is the vector from the origin to that point p naught. So we have terminal minus initial. So we have negative 1 minus 0, negative 1 minus 0, negative 6 minus 0. So our position vector is the vector negative 1, negative 1, negative 6. Beautiful. So the first part is all set. Now the next thing that we need to do is to define this parallel vector v. So we want to find our vector v. So I'm going to label these points. I'll let this be point A and we'll let this be point B. Now. I'm going to define vector v here as the directed line segment from A to B. But again, you want to keep in mind here, just like with choosing p naught, that vector v being defined as the directed line segment from point B to point A also works. So that's why we can end up getting multiple correct answers for the equation of the line. It's all about how you define it. And the reason that this form also works is we know that the directed line segment from point B to point A is simply a scalar multiple of the directed line segment from A to B. So keeping that in mind, we're going to use this first one, the directed line segment from point A to point B. So here we go, we have vector v, again, terminal minus initial. So we have negative 3 minus a minus 1. We have 7 minus a minus 1, and then 7 minus a minus 6. So being mindful that all of these negatives times a negative produces a positive value, what are we left with? So we have negative 3 plus 1 gives us negative 2. We have 7 plus 1 is 8. And then we have 7 plus 6 is 13. So there is our parallel vector. And we have everything that we need to find the line. So find the vector valued equation for the line. And again, that's going to be that vector-valued function r of t, where we have our position vector plus the arbitrary parameter t times vector v. So this is equal to negative 1, negative 1, negative 6 plus t, our arbitrary parameter, multiplied by this parallel vector, negative 2, 8, 13. And so we can go ahead and group up our like terms and say that therefore the vector valued equation will be negative 1 minus 2t, negative 1 plus 8t minus 6 plus 13t. And since this is a full line, we know that t can be any real number our little hearts desire. So from negative infinity to positive infinity. 
Now, again, I know I keep mentioning this, but I mean it, that this is not an exclusive solution. So, with that in mind, we'll make a little love note here to ourselves, again, that this is not an exclusive solution. Other solutions exist. So just so that we can really appreciate what this is saying, let's find one more line. So instead, this time, I'm going to let P0 be the other point. So that means that we are going to have the point negative 3, 7, 7. And this will give us the position vector R0, which again is origin to, that point, to this new point P0. So we have, in this case, the vector negative 3, 7, 7. And just for fun, we'll keep our vector the way that it is. So we'll use vector V as defined above using that directed line segment AB, which again we found to be negative 2, 8, 13. So therefore, another valid solution is the new position vector, minus 3, 7, 7, plus t multiplied by this parallel vector, minus 2, 8, 13. And grouping up our like terms, we can say that, therefore, the beautiful final answer for this line in space will be negative 3 minus 2t, 7 plus 8t, 7 plus 13t. And again, because this is a full line, we know that t can be any real number from negative infinity to positive infinity. So both of these answers are beautiful. So this is a correct answer. This is another correct answer. Many more exist. Right? So again, your solution is going to depend on what point you choose to start with? What are you letting P not be? It's also going to depend on how you define your vector V. And what we're observing here is that any scalar multiple of the vector is going to work.